Hey everybody, Damon Parr here with the Hunter's Warehouse. Today on a buddy's property, we're gonna redeploy uh, the Cuddy Link system. And so all we've done so far is we've put batteries in. A couple other things you might wanna check are lenses. Uh, these lenses are still good. These cameras were just used for a couple months last year. So in general, I would recommend you know, checking your lenses once a year, especially if you're running them all year, sometimes they wear down and that can really uh, give you better picture quality just by updating to new lenses. This is, a, this is a redeploy video, so this is meant to be very quick. June 23rd, it's the perfect time of year to be putting cameras out. Bucks are growing their racks and I'm just gonna turn this camera on with the mode button and this is the cellular camera. So hitting mode over to commands. I'm gonna hit more until I get to cell menu. Hitting up twice to get into the cell menu. And I'm gonna hit more until I get to cell test. Once I'm on cell test, I'm hitting the up arrow, arrow twice to run the cell test. I did just uh, check with my phone. I have a Verizon phone. This is a Verizon camera. I had two bars of service on my phone. So I do expect this camera to establish a connection fairly quick and work well in this location. All right, so we have a success. Um, that established pretty quick, so we're good to go. Again, these cameras were used last year, so now we just want to go through and verify that our settings are correct. So first thing we're going to check is the date and time. So I hit mode to get over to clock. You just use the up and down arrows here. Mode to go from hours to minutes, up, down, or sorry, more to get to date up and down arrows to change more okay time and date are correct we're going to hit mode over to commands and now we're going to check the link settings so once i'm on commands i'm hitting more to get to link menu once i'm on link menu i'm hitting the up arrow twice and this gets us into the link menu settings okay this is the home camera Cellular camera is always the home camera. More. This location is location one. One node. Um, once we put out the remote cameras, it, this, it will establish and say that there's two nodes. Home camera is the first node. First remote camera will be the second node. Link channel. Okay, our channel is still the same. 531, that's what we had it as last year. And that's it for the link link settings. So when we put the remote cameras out, we need to make sure that, uh, that they have a unique location and that they're on the same channel. And we'll go through that process when we get to the first remote camera. But for now, our settings are correct on the home camera and we're ready to arm this thing. So. I'm not going to arm it just yet. We're going to make sure that we get it set up on the tree here. And then I will show you how to change it to arm. All right, so we got our setup here on the tree. You can see we're using uh, the battery power bank. And we also are using a lockbox. I'm going to hit mode over to clock. And I'm doing that to plug in the C2 to C2 cable from the external power. You either want to have your camera on clock or have it off when you plug this connection cable in. Okay, now that our connection cable is plugged in, all we need to do is arm the camera. So I'm going to hit mode over to arm. And at this point, the camera's gonna tell you if there's something wrong. If there's nothing wrong, it's gonna start counting down and the camera is in the process of arming. So we can 
shut our door here. And this is the back to the G safe. Camera just slides on like so. All right, so we're ready to just slide this on. Cover. We're taking pictures, so let's roll. We are at the first remote camera. One thing that I wanna mention that I didn't mention at the home camera is that we put completely new SD cards in these cameras. Um, very important that you're either using new SD cards or you have reformatted an old SD card to its original state. Very important for the cameras to work properly. We have this set up in the, in the J safe. We have our battery power bank connected and now we're gonna turn it on and verify the settings. So I'm hitting mode to clock and the date and time was set on this this morning. We're hitting mode over to commands, hitting more to get to the link menu. Once we're on link menu, hitting up twice. Now, this is a remote camera. So we got remote. The location is two. So again, the home camera was location one. This is location two. Channel 531, very important. The remote camera and the home camera have to be on the same channel or they won't work. Link count. 250 just as a standard setting I recommend that you have your count at 250 this is just the amount of pictures that can be in the queue um, waiting to be sent to the home camera so really you should never have to worry about this unless you know there's like a piece of grass flailing in front of your camera and the next setting we have here is link level when you get to link level the screen is going to blink at you and this is trying to establish connection to the home camera through the daisy chain system right now. Okay, so we got 46 good. Um, we're just going to watch this for a little while. Cutty Back recommends that when you start linking cameras that you actually turn your remote or do this do the settings with your remote camera very near to the home camera and then walk to the location that you're going to put it i personally don't do that and i've never had a problem i just go to a location that i think is going to be within range and then as long as when you establish the link level if you watch it for a minute to two minutes you're going to have a good idea of what that level is going to be. And as long as the level is over 20, your camera is going to work great from a linking standpoint. So you can see this has gone back and forth between 42 and 38. So I would say we're going to be sitting good here at 40 and this, this should work perfect. So once you, once this link level is established, we're ready to arm the camera. So I'm just going to hit mode to arm and as long as it starts counting down from 29 we're good. Jump that up. The other thing I'll say is um, we're kind of on a downslope here. We're shooting uh, main intersection. There's a scrape right down here. Um, in general, I would say I put my put my cameras mid thigh to waist at the highest. If you're if you're on flat ground, um, this the lens on this is probably right above my knee. But when it's shooting this scrape, it's coming you know, right to my mid thigh or waist. 
which is right where you want to be for detection zone. So we're good to go. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Nothing to do but wait for big bucks to show up. <laughs>